Let's just get right into it today because we are joined by the one and only Sarah Frazier. Tickets are selling, David. We have another virtual live podcast, our third. Our fans, you guys have so much fun on these. You come questions ready. You come high. You come with a glass of wine. You come sober. But you show up and you show out. And now October 29th at 7 p.m. New York City time, we are doing an Ask Us Anything Q&A. $30. We keep the ticket price reasonable because it's a fun night. And guess what? It's Halloween edition. We're doing a Halloween costume. Best costume wins a prize. We encourage you to wear Bravo Liberty outfits, but you certainly don't need to. Any Halloween costume covers it. Eventbrite.com. Just search David Yantif or Sarah Frazier. Also, the ticket link is in our Instagram bios on our IG stories. Lots of chances to purchase a ticket. and We can't wait to see you. Yeah, it's going to be a costume contest. Costume yeah. contest. I love so that. that's major. Um, and yep. the tickets are selling. And last time, once again, it sold out and then people were upset. What are you doing two nights before Halloween? Don't you want to dress up and drink and eat candy with us? Yes. And ask oh actual God. questions. What's your favorite Halloween candy, by the way? I love, it used to be Snickers, but I think Snickers has been replaced with peanut M&Ms. Ooh, yes. I love a peanut M&M. Right? Clearly you don't have kids because uh, nobody gives those out because kids have the allergies. But I personally, when you don't have the allergies, a peanut M&M is so good. Or I'm a Reese's peanut butter cup girl. I am um, in the form of a pumpkin because they do them the Halloween edition. Oh, you know what though? Reese's and Snickers. Oh, ha- the peanut Reese's peanut butter cups are my favorite. But yes. I like that. But you know what is the best kind white chocolate Reese's peanut butter cups. I love white chocolate. They're really, it's like white on the outside. Delicious. Delicious. Oh God, one of those. Try it. Try it. Oh. But I love, you know, I don't love a Milky Way. I don't love a Three Musketeers. Those are a little more boring to me. What else is there? Um, I don't love a Mounds. Mind you, I would eat any of these. Mounds. Yeah. yeah, it's not. I mean, I'm going to go with the peanut M&M's Reese's peanut butter cup, but white chocolate version and, uh, the Snickers. Those are my top three. Those I love three a Kit Kat. I do enjoy a Kit Kat. Really? I don't I don't love a Kit Kat. I, uh, once again, I prefer the white chocolate Kit Kats if I'm going to do the, the Kit Kat. I really? love a white, yeah, I love a white chocolate. Love. Oh my gosh. And I love a Twix. I, you know what? I just am a candy gal. I love, I, I'm a sweet eater. I love sweets. I mean, hence why, I don't know. I, I have love a candy. candy coating that's not going away because I love chocolate every night. I love candy. No, it really is very good. Um, and, uh, do you yeah. give now? You're you're in apartments and condos, so you never give out. No, kids don't come there, but do, they do. You but never... you can put the thing on the door that, or I think you have to put a thing on the door, pretty much, and say I'm open for business. I'm really not open for business. You don't want me to open the door. Most people don't. So this isn't me being a bitch. Um, even if you don't have kids, you're not really. And there really aren't that many kids in any of my places no. yeah not really oh i used to love to at halloween remember that when people would give out the full-size candy bars or mm. they give out the bags and they would stuff the mini bags with like a whole they'd hand out do people do that anymore i don't know that's very luxurious i don't think they do look i have got real problems with taking oh. candy from someone else's house and eating oh. it but mm-hmm. more power to everyone that wants to go but you know what on two days before, you're not going to be at a Halloween party. You'll do that on the weekend. You're not going to be out on Halloween. This is why we chose this day. It's the perfect day for you guys. It's going to be good. Get your um, ticket. Buy, buy your ticket. It will sell out. Are Teresa and Jennifer Aiden going to be friends when uh, the sh- you know the show's over? I don't think Jennifer's coming back. I don't know if she's coming back or not, but I don't think so. You don't um, think they're going to be friends at all? I don't know. I'm just curious as to... Uh, if Teresa is on the show and Jennifer isn't, what do you? What do you? Friends. Just what a question. Is, the dust. I'm torn. Oh, I sh- God, Aiden. At least on camera, seems like she has been such a ride or die for Tere- for Trey. I think she'll want to do. I just, I think Teresa means well. I just think that uh, she cares about Louie. I agree with Margaret on this one. Um, again, I'm a little mad at Margaret, uh, my friend, the Sarge, Marge, the Sarge. Uh, the rumor is she gives out gift cards. If uh, you say good things about her, 
Um, I do have three addresses, but I'm not that hard to find. It's all digital now. I'm upset I haven't gotten a gift card from Miss Josephs because uh, I do agree with her on this one that um, Teresa cares about nothing except uh, Louis and just defending him. And so I don't know. I would hope to think that Teresa and Jennifer Aiden will be friends when uh, the show returns and Teresa possibly returns to the show and Miss Aiden possibly allegedly doesn't. What do you think? You got something else to say about Jersey over there? It seemed like it. Yeah, I've been really fascinated by watching all this. Jersey was not my number one. I think my number one used to be New York. Now it's Beverly Hills. And then mm -hmm. after that, it's Potomac and then Salt Lake City. So Jersey's never been my top five. Now you are a Jersey expert, but the dust seems to be settling slightly. Any new rumors, things popping up, any new things about Louie? I mean, people really love to dig about Louie, lawsuits. You know Okay, what do you think? Well, I think, look, I think the rumor that it will be 2025 at the absolute earliest before we know anything. Yeah. So that's like September, October, November, December. It's four months. It's it's the longer a show is off the air. I just think the longer it's just we can do without it. Right. I mean, it's like you need to go away forever. Like like the Hills did and like Jersey Shore did like years and then come back. I mean, Jersey Shore, the return of Jersey Shore Family Vacation, that shit's still going. The wheels haven't fallen off that shit yet. They are still putting out new seasons. Yeah. Really? Oh, my God. Yeah. I haven't, I haven't watched that show in a decade. I mean, uh, shout out to my girl, Angelina Pavarnik. Um, but uh, it's so funny. Um, I'll share this. The other day, I was walking on Hollywood Boulevard. I mean, I'm still here. Actually, the other day being yesterday, but by the time you hear this, it'll be days. Walking on Hollywood Boulevard. I'm in LA for the week. Minding my own business. I am walking distance to Hollywood Boulevard. And I look up and I see across the street, Vinavia, Louis, that Louis company, or I don't know if that was the space they rented. And it says available for lease and the windows are boarded up. Now, I don't know if this is just the event space they purchased for that event or whatever, but uh, there's a big awning. It says Vinavia and it says uh, available for lease and the windows are all smashed out and paper. So it uh, doesn't look like that business is going so well. I, I took pictures. I'm going to share it to the, it's a, uh, like, is this like a sign from 3000 miles away? Like, say nice things about me, David. But there it was. I looked up and I saw Vinavia and it was boarded up and available for lease. I don't know. Hollywood Boulevard, man. The boulevard that dreams are made of. And then I did a little video to show the stars, the walk of the walk of, just to show that we're, we're really on the uh, ground zero Hollywood Boulevard here. And there's boarded up Vinavia. Who knew, how long, right? How long do you think till they're going to allow podcasters to purchase... Because, you know, that's the secret about the Hollywood Boulevard and the Walk of Fame, you the stars. You, 